You know, I, one thing that's important to understand that depression and anxiety are both very treatable conditions. That's great to know. You know, both medically and psychologically, that's as well as physically. You know, you probably know that by doing physical activity really helps. It elicits uh, the pituitary gland with lots of, you know, fun uh, chemicals in your system. There's a host of things, but absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's one of the yeah. things you can do for, Absolutely, yeah, you know. and I'm, I'm glad I'm talking to you because you know, and it's kind of your job, <laughs> you know? Not only, not only does it help in terms of, because I went to physical therapy for a while because I had some cervical spine issues, Yeah, and it really helped. I'll tell you, um, I won't get into it too much, but you know, I have someone in chronic pain. A lot of times I don't even address the direct pathology or impairment we just do a global workout mm -hmm. and all of a sudden that local little spot that's really bugging them gone yeah <laughs> after a few treatments for lots of reasons so mm -hmm. you know it's 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 soliciting a whole brain response yeah yeah yep. and and that's that's worthwhile returning to um, so the sympathetic response again is uh, when you perceive that threat or demand then uh, the body is going to immediately respond and because it, it's, a, it's a survival response. Mm -hmm. So the sympathetic nervous system is designed to protect you. And so it, it's automatic. And, and, and that's kind of tough in some ways because we like to think we can control that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's important to know that it's automatic mm -hmm. and we really don't have control mm -hmm. over it right in the moment. Mm -hmm. Especially, uh, I was watching a video uh, be, before I came over about the stress response and and one of the videos showed me uh, a video of a guy who was just walking along the street and it was a guy in Russia and he immediately jumped out of a path of a moving car that Ooh. was coming towards him right and so it was a very very good video because to see the way that he moved so he moved before he thought about it and that's part of what Reflexive, happens in the sympathetic yeah. response. So it's designed to, to help you survive. And when that happens, uh, you, you get a, this rush of adrenaline and later on cortisol. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a state of prolonged stress, then it's probably primarily cortisol. And that's where the weight gain can come in. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so, uh, but what, what it does with that release of that adrenaline is that adrenaline floods your system and it triggers certain responses. So, mm -hmm. so there are certain muscle groups that it shuts down and there's some that it relaxes. For example, uh, so muscle tension is a common thing when we have uh, a sympathetic response and that's just that tensing up. And I think that's probably where the term stress comes from because that's what we feel. And, and that's different from anxiety because anxiety is kind of longer, okay. more intense. That's good to know. Okay. Uh, so I, I think that's uh, important to understand. Yeah, it is good. And so when we're in sympathetic, we're, you know, there's certain muscle groups that are intensified, like our heart rate and our breathing become more rapid. Mm -hmm. and, and if you think about it, it makes sense. It's getting more blood in your body so that you can fight or flight, mm -hmm. you know, so you can run away if you need to. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the blood in the, the center of our body into our muscles, they get bigger. Yeah. So there's more blood going through the muscles. Yeah, in case we need to yeah, flee yeah. or fight or... Right. right. But in terms of uh, blood going into the belly mm -hmm. and the gut, mm -hmm it constricts. So basically it shuts down your digestive system. Weight loss, possibly chronic, sympathetic discharge? If it's long enough, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, the opposite can also happen too. Yeah. So, but I, I think it's just important to know that your, your gut is very affected by it. And your, your immune system is also shut down because in that moment, they're not needed. So in favor of the other parts of your body, you know, your muscles, it, it's, it's operating in favor of those. So 
you're going to be more activated. And so it's a very energizing state. So you're saying you're more susceptible to chronic diseases and sickness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're more likely to get a cold if you've had a stressful experience. You know? Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think it's also important to understand that um, when we're experiencing stress or anxiety, we're more likely to have stomach issues or gut issues, uh, as well as the immune response. What are some um, signs and symptoms of some of these gut or stomach issues that people may Well, as simple feel. as feeling sick, mm. you know, sick to your stomach, throwing up. Mm -hmm. I hear that a lot. Mm. When they come in, is they'll, they'll be queasy or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that part of the body is just not doing well. Lack of appetite. Yeah. Just it, feeling it, ill. Yeah, and that, that's probably more long term. But, you know, in the moment when we're, we're in, in a sympathetic response, then we're probably not thinking about that because our mind gets very focused on the target. Survive. Yeah, right. and, and that's also important to understand that our n field of vision narrows. Mm -hmm. We become hyper-focused. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so when that's happening, uh, it's important to understand that we're hyper-focused on something. Mm -hmm. And so that, that relates back to the rumination that you were talking about, that you were worried about the what-ifs, mm -hmm. and is this going to get worse? Mm -hmm. So your field of vision narrows totally. versus versus when you're in a parasympathetic state. So it, at this point, it's good to talk about parasympathetic response. Please so do, yeah. The sympathetic response is, like I said, and I mentioned the different parts because that's important that you recognize what it's doing to the body. And so, and it's important to also understand when the parasympathetic has happened. And you need to know this so that you can create that balance. Yes. Right? It's the yin and yang of humanity. Yes. The sympathetic and then the parasympathetic. Can you elaborate on that a little bit and what would yeah. we be seeing and feeling for that? So, so basically, parasympathetic happens uh, whenever we feel secure, when we feel safe, when things are comfortable, when we're in good company when we're in trusted company. Mm -hmm. And so when that happens, then it's kind of like there's two defaults in the body and it all depends upon threat. So when we perceive threat, then our body's going to react and it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. But when we perceive that all is clear, everything's all right, when I was in the military, we used to do exercises and we all longed for that all clear signal. So there's certain conditions that have a certain name, you know, and, what's in, in condition green or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, so then we relax and we take our gas masks off and all that sort of thing. And so our body does that. So it really comes down to a perception. And that doesn't mean we fool ourselves. But I think it, it matters that we know. And we can ask ourselves the question, am, am I right? And that doesn't mean that we're immediately going to relax but it's kind of a, an opening. And I think about when I was young, I used to have turtles. And, and uh, I used to, I, I love turtles, and I would have a tank, and sometimes I would go up and tap them on the shoulder, <laughs> or on the shell, and they would immediately retract. You of know, course, yeah. And turtle up, you know, to protect themselves. Yep. And so what I would do sometimes is I would just watch them and wait until they come out of their shell. And that's kind of parasympathetic.